first unit is identity, and I think that's really, really important because a lot of uh, a lot of students here are really international and they're third culture kids. Okay. Um, From okay. Fisher's so. Academy, I learned that sometimes you have to like collaborate, and sometimes some people have to step up and like maybe do some like lead everyone and like take charge. I also learned that um, like if you're focused, you can accomplish anything almost. Projects present a real practical structure for kids to get to very abstract concepts. Um, it allows them also to uh, hit those key 21st century skills, it allows them to hit creativity and innovation, it allows them to communicate with each other, to collaborate. In a project, they all kind of have to work together to get to that goal. They have a lot of tools for us. Like, for one of our projects, we had to make a map that it was 3D. My group, we used a 3D printer to print it. and. We learned how to use it by ourselves. So basically, you could use the wires. Project-based learning has been around for a very long time. Open concept classrooms like this have been around for a very long time. I think the one thing that we are doing differently that's a little bit more innovative is the fully integrated approach. That is really hard to do, and it's only possible with the flexible schedule. It's also more self-directed learning instead of facilitators going up and actually teaching but we actually get to figure things out ourselves and I think that's very important and they also stress 21st century skills which are going to be very important later on in life. I think flexibility also allows us to really individualize learning for students by having small groups and not having one kind of set time where everybody is doing the same thing. That flexibility has allowed us to really reach students at their individual needs.